Tonight, uh, we have a very special uh, treat for you. We have a woman who was uh, a, a part of my life that means a lot, and she's coming up soon. But first, I want to tell you about a real special treat that we had for you that you stay for the second half to see. We have a real live dame to come up and tell you jokes. <laughs> and here's the twist. It's going to be in English. So you can understand him. What a twist. <laughs> so without further ado, I would like you to put your hands together for the marvelous Martian Martin. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, my name is Martin. I'm actually a tour guide. I'm not a comedian or anything. Um, I do tours and uh, I found out some things about on those tours that I, I can share with you actually. Um, probably if you want a tour guide, I can make a little bit of an advertisement here now. Um, <laughs> so I found out something, so, so we had Scott from Canada, and I found out, you know what Canada is? Not American, that's what Canada is. <laughs> yeah. But that's the same in many countries. I mean, fuck, if you tell anyone from Canada who sounds American, you need to to kill you, right? So, so, and I found out that's the same in many other countries. For instance, Austria, you know what Austria is? Not German, that's what Austria is. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what Denmark is? Fucking awesome, that's what you Did you say not Sweden? Yeah. Um, yeah, so did you do some of the touristic stuff for you here? You, you, I mean, you probably live here, you probably live somewhere. Did you go check out the Little Mermaid? Or as we call it, the Little Disappointment? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny because people, they go to see the Little Mermaid, the Little Mermaid, and they're disappointed because she's, well, little. I mean, it's even, even in a bloody title. If you're not prepared for that, you're not prepared for anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think she's quite beautiful. She was, um, actually she was modeled in 1913 by a guy named Erickson, did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. And Erickson, he modeled the body after his wife, but not the face. He didn't like his wife's face so much. So he modeled the face after a famous actress at the time. I'm, I'm absolutely sure he spent a month on the couch after that. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, uh, yeah, it's most famous for being vandalized a few times over the years. It was covered in pain a few times, the arm was cut off and stolen. Even the head, the head was cut off and stolen twice. Yeah, can you believe that, right? Everybody says they don't know who did it. I'm sure that wife did it. <laughs> I mean, that completely makes sense to me, right? I, I still think the worst thing that ever happened to the little moment was once before a football game, somebody put her in a foot, uh, in Swedish football yeah. jersey. That's right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's not funny, man. <laughs> rather, rather cut the head off, okay? <laughs> um, you can also go to you can also go to uh, the castle, yeah, to the royal castle and check out the royal lifeguard. Yeah, that's the funny thing, right? There's 220 of those guys, uh, 18, 19 years old teenagers, basically, right? Like any other 18, 19 year old, they go and get pissed drunk every night. And then in the morning, when they're still drunk and hungover, we give them a funny hat and load a machine gun to the back of the town. That's, that's how we like to keep our queen safe, right? And, then, uh, and you might be probably wondering why we need soldiers to keep our queen safe in one of the most safe countries in the world, right? We load a machine guns and everything. But it's actually because the Swedish embassy is just around the corner, you can never be too careful. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a fun fact that uh, uh, some years ago when uh, Obama was still president, he was visiting the Queen, he had to stay at the castle in one of those houses there. And, uh, and he, his uh, security people they wanted to unarm the Royal Lifeguard, we were saying. It's not ironic, an American wants to unarm people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. Never happened, right? But <laughs> well, you know what she said? She said, no. And he, she basically said, it's my house, my rules, young man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had, had to surrender to that. Can you believe that? They had to accept that there was like 18, 19 year old drunk guys with machine guns just surrounding Obama while he was in Copenhagen. Yeah. Um, so, so most people, when they go to the palace, they want to have a, most people, when they go to the palace, they, they want to have a picture with those right here, left guys. So we tried that. Be careful, right? Because, I mean, okay, of course it helps if you go and ask them, right? They're probably going to ignore you, but of course it helps if you have boobies, right? Because, I mean, they, they don't see a lot of women in those the barracks there. It doesn't even have good boobies. Any boobies will do. But, 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 but usually they will, they will allow you to come that close. But I have a little tip for you if you want a picture with them. You're not allowed to touch the buildings. So what you do is you go and lean against the building, right? If, if, and then they have to shout at you. And if you don't react to that, they'll have to come closer. And if you don't react to that, they'll have to remove you from the building. And that's when you have a friend ready with a camera. <laughs> that's, that's, that's
that's going to be your most prized possession from, from your time, and then like a picture of you being dragged away by the Royal Ascot in hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last thing, last thing I want to tell you is, uh, was that the first or the second wave? That's for sure. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> um, last thing I want to tell you is I often get asked, um, what's the biggest export in Denmark? And uh, that's a fucking boring question, right? It's like, and I hate that because I have to tell them all the boring shit, wind turbines and a fucking pork meat and uh, and uh, pharmacy and shit like that. But then, then I, I checked the list out, right? And I wanted to find something funny. You know, like seven or eight, you know what that is? Sperm. No way. Sperm from sperm banks. That's one of Denmark's big exports. Can you believe it? So, so I checked into it, right? It, it proves that Denmark has some very liberal rules around sperm donation. It's very easy to stay anonymous for the rest of your life if you don't have sperm, right? And people are, so it's actually quite common even for students to make an extra buck, you know? And, and since they do that anyway, they might as well make that money, right? Um, and it actually proves you have some of the biggest sperm banks in the world in Denmark, including the biggest sperm bank is in Aarhus, the second time, right? Um, they've got 170 liters of sperm there. You know, 100. Whoa. Gives a whole new. I thought about that. Gives a whole new meaning to the word gene pool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, I, I, I thought about that word gene pool. What that mean? That's what it means. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, um, and and we actually export sperm to more than 70 different countries around the world. Oh Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a known fact that, like a thousand years ago, the Vikings used to run, roam around the, the whole region and rape people like crazy to spread the Viking genes. But now we learn about consent. <laughs> it's a new strategy. It's fucking clever. I like to think of it as you can buy a build your own Viking kit. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. Martin. You know, that's, that's really some interesting stuff. I'm learning a lot about Denmark. You know, the, the only fact I can bring to the table there is 5% uh, of Danish men have tried bestiality. So uh, I feel like if you put the sperm banks and the pig farms together, there's got to be something different. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And, uh, <laughs> Without further ado, I'm going to move on to some more beautiful jeans. Uh, and uh, I have to say, I like how she looks in them tonight. Uh, this is a legend in the area. She's uh, getting 